In this video we're looking at multiplying thirds. Um, the first type we're looking at is where we're multiplying single terms and the second type is where we're multiplying more than one term which will require us, require us to put them into brackets. So looking at these single terms we've got 3 root 3 times root 8. So that's 3 root 3 times root 8. And when we're multiplying thirds like this, you will multiply the whole numbers together. There isn't a whole number here, but we can imagine it's a 1. Um, and we multiply the roots or the thirds together as well. So what we'll end up with is 3 times 1, which is 3, um, root 24, because that's 3 times 8. And then we can simplify this root 24. This will simplify to be 3 times, sorry, 3 root 4 times 6, which will give us 3 times 2 root 6, which is 6 root 6. And then the second one, um, same, same thing, but this time we do have a number in front of the second term. So if we do 5 root 2 times 2 root 3, 2 times 5 is 10, root 2 times root 3 is root 6. We can't simplify this 6, so we'll just leave it at that. Now let's move on to multiplying brackets. So this first one here, um, we've got 3 root 2 plus 4 root 3 squared, which just means we're multiplying the bracket by itself. And when we're doing these, we need to treat them just like we would a quadratic. So the first time term in the first bracket will multiply both of the other terms, and the same with the second term. So we need to do all of those multiplications. So I'm going to do this first one here. So 3 root 2 times 3 root 2 is going to give us 9 root 4. We'll simplify that later. I'm going to do the second one here. So 3 root 2 times 4 root 3, which is going to give us 12 root 6. Then we've got 4 root 3 times 3 root 2, which is another 12 root 6. And then we've got 4 root 3 times 4 root 3, which is 16 root 9, which again we need to simplify. So 9 times root 4 is 9 times 2, which is 18. Root 12 root 6 plus 12 root 6 is going to give us 24 root 6. And 16 times root 9 is the same as 16 times 3, which is 48. And then if we collect these two like terms, these two constant terms, we're going to get 24 root 6 plus 66. Let's move on to the second one. So if we do question B, I'll take it over here so we have a bit more space. Here we're doing 2 root 3 plus root 5 times 4 root 3 minus root 5. So again, exactly the same method. We're going to multiply each term together. This time I'm going to do it a slightly different way. I'm going to use the grid method. So I'm setting up a grid. And in the top I'm doing these two terms. So we've got 2 root 3 and positive root 5. And then on the side we've got 4 root 3 and minus root 5. So let's multiply these together. We're going to have 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 3 is 9, so 8 root 9. Here we're going to have 4 root 15. This one is going to be minus, we'll have minus 2 root 15. And then in the last one, minus root 5 times root 5 is going to be minus root 25. So if we simplify all of these, 8 root times root 9 is 8 times 3, which is 24. 
4 root 15 minus 2 root 15 is 2 root 15. And then minus root 25 is minus 5. So we get 2 root 15 plus 19 when we collect the two like terms. Okay, so let's now go on to the final question. And if I take this one down here, we can have a look at how it looks. Now this type is going to be quite important for when we are um, rationalising the denominator in the next video. Um, as you can see, both brackets are almost the same. The only difference is this one's positive and this one's got a negative sign in it. And we'll see what happens when we, when we expand this one. Um, so for this one, I'm going to do the grid method again. So here I've got 3 root 5, and here I've got minus 4 root 7, and then 3 root 5, and plus 4 root 7. So 3 times 3 is 9, root 5 times root 5 is root 25, and then th 3 root 5 times minus 4 root 7 is minus 7. 12 root 35 and these two is going to give us 12 root 35 and then the last one minus 4 times minus 4 is minus 16 times root 49 then we need to simplify each one so the top left one 9 root 25 is going to be 9 times 5 which is 45 these two are going to cancel minus 12 root 35 and 12 root 35, we'll, when we add them, will equal 0. And then we need to take away 16 times root, seven, uh, root 49, which is 16 times 7, which is 112. So 45 minus 112, which is going to give us a final answer of minus 67. Now, the reason why these this type is important for rationalising denominator is that you do not end up with any thirds in your final expansion. Once it's been expanded, there are no thirds. And we'll look at how that works when we're rationalizing the denominator in the next video.